Okay, so let's do a braces haul. I know that's weird, but you know what? I got a lot of stuff from my orthodontist office. He gave me like a full on bag of stuff. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so generous. I mean, look at this is a huge bag of stuff. We're gonna do a good morning. Happy Tuesday. Hope everybody had an awesome Tuesday. Today is December 19th. And I did good last night. I edited that video. I got it on out. I did good. But today, this morning, I have an interview at 9.30. And it's almost 8.30. I wanted to leave at 8.30. Just in case I got lost or there was traffic. But I want to make my coffee first and enjoy it and then leave. This is Wesley Farms Colombian. Oh my goodness, this coffee is good. It might be better than the uh, Starbucks holiday blend that I've been talking about for days now delicious but because it's not k cups i gotta use this thing but that is okay it'll be totally worth it if y'all looked at me right now from like head to toe you'd probably laugh because i got on something different i got on my button down shirt and i got on my little blazer and i got on this skirt but the blazer is huge because i'm short it's like this is not a petite blazer but it's too cold i can't just go without it so it's just where we're at right now and you know what's funny this uh job I mean, this job, it sounds like it would be nice, but I'm not really sure if I want to do it. I know that's like very, very vague, but I'll give you all more information later. It's just, I'm not sure about it. thought my dad was coming. I got to figure out how I'm going to write a, uh, if I don't accept it, I got to figure out how I'm going to write a uh, declining an offer letter, which I could probably find it on Pinterest, but it's like, I'm not sure about it. Look at all those presents. And I don't think any of them are mine. And there were some big ones there the other day, but then they disappeared and it turns out they were my grandma's and it's like, that's okay. Oh my goodness. You know what I wanna, you know what I wanna get myself for Christmas and I might actually do this? I wanna get a new vlogging camera. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get a new vlogging camera. Cause I dropped it so many times and I found a new camera that I love. It has a better zoom, a better one than this one, shockingly. It has higher megapixels. It's just better and it's a Canon. So it's just, I don't know. I wanna upgrade this. I have to see what I'll get for Christmas though. Even though I didn't even ask for a new camera. So I'm here at my interview and it didn't take me as long to get here as I thought it would. It takes me about the same distance as it does my other job. But okay, y'all, wish me luck. I gotta go inside and see what this room is. I hope they got coffee. Not that I just didn't have coffee at home, but you know, I love coffee. Okay, so I just got out of my interview and I really wanna watch what I say on this channel because I don't want a future employer. I don't know what to say, oh my goodness. But I'm just gonna be honest with you. This guy who interviewed me was rude. I have never been interviewed by somebody who was this rude. I mean, he wasn't like the meanest guy in the world, but it was just like some of his comments were just, dang, do y'all know when you're sounding rude? Like, oh my goodness. First of all, he came late. Okay, like interview was supposed to be at 9.30 and he had a miscommunication. He thought it was at 10. So I was sitting out there waiting and just, you know, from our phone conversations and stuff, I kind of got a vibe like he was a little disorganized. So I was like, okay, that's a red flag. And, um, first of all, I gave him my resume. The way I was taught in school is that as a student, you know, your resume is not supposed to go over one page. So I made sure my resume was one page. I only put one uh, job that I'm doing right now that's relevant to this position. I kept that on there. I kept my skills and I kept my education. I just wanted it to be one page. I passed him my resume. First of all, he looks mean. It's like, you know, discerning people, I can kind of tell on your face the way that you carry yourself how you are so he just looked mean but anyways I gave him my resume and he was like I can tell you don't have much work experience and I was like I've been working since I was 17 I have plenty of work experience I just kept one position on there that was relevant to this if you want to see the rest of it go on my LinkedIn first of all and then he was talking about uh, how he would uh, already talking about firing me before I even get hired <laughs> talking about something how if I couldn't commit or something like that you know he would have to drop me or something I was like dang I ain't even hired yet y'all y'all 
and I already know I'm not going to be able to work it anyway because he said he already said up front you know he doesn't let his employees take off Saturday and it's like sometimes I may need to take off a Saturday especially when school gets started I may need to take off a Saturday and do community service or I may have something else going on something I'm doing and I may need to take off Saturday so if he's not going to let his employees have time off then okay and it was just his, his overall vibe was just mean I don't know it's just <sighs> this is a spiritual gift I've been praying for for months now. I want that sharp discernment. I want to be able to look at somebody and just read them. <laughs> so I'm not going to accept, accept this position. And I'm not going to give you his company as well because I'm pretty sure he has a really good company. You know, it's black owned and everything. So I'm not going to like snitch about the company. But it's just, I don't know. I can't, I don't know. Plus, I don't want to do door-to-door -door sales in the cold, in the dark, by myself, out in the neighborhood. That's dangerous, especially for, like, a woman. No, thanks. But you know what? Uh, I have to go get gas. I'm going to get gas in my annoying interview outfit. Oh, my goodness. Go get me some gas, then head on home. You know, for Christmas to be in six days... It is very warm out here. Do y'all see what I came out in? Like, usually in December, it'd be snowing. And, like, you know, I'd have to wear, like, a coat. But, no, it's it's warm. It's pretty warm. But, y'all, I'm about to go to my orthodontist office. I'm getting these braces on at 1 o'clock. And it is, like, 1230. Oh, my goodness. It's like I'm nervous, but I'm excited. It's like I'm more excited than nervous, but it's like I don't know what I'm feeling. It's like I am like nervous. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I already took my ibuprofen. I took two ibuprofen because they said, you know, just take it before your appointment. And I, I took it. Uh, what else? Um, I have my lip balm for when my lips get dry. I got that. <sighs> Can't believe I'm getting these braces on today. It's like. It feels like we've been talking about it. Hey, why would you jump out in front of traffic and go slow? Anyways, it feels like we've been talking about it for years. Like, oh, Alexa has to get braces on. She has to get braces. She has to get braces. Because I remember, like, years ago, maybe when I was 13, I got the wisdom teeth out. And they were talking about me getting braces back then. And I was like, oh, my goodness. But today, it's happening. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm going to run in here and get them on and come right back out. And I'm going to be like, y'all, that wasn't even that bad. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to miss my teeth. Just be, being able to run my tongue over my teeth and not going to feel metal. Oh, my goodness. I'm a little nervous. It's okay to be nervous, though. Hey, I'm here. It's 1240. 20 minutes. Oh, my goodness. I'm not nervous. I am not nervous. There are so many people on this planet who have braces. It is not anything out of the ordinary. It's fine. <laughs> what are y'all concerned about? Oh my goodness. So to answer any questions that I'm going to get, my teeth are crowded. That's why I need braces. And I'm not going to need them on for that long. He said six months. Okay. So six months and then I'm supposed to wear a permanent retainer so that my teeth never shift, you know, back to the crowdedness. <sighs> Last time my teeth will just be no metal. All right, Let, let's do this. Okay, no more, no more stalling. Okay, okay, that was nowhere near as bad as what I thought it was gonna be. I'm just talking with a little bit of a lisp right now, but that's okay. And my mouth has this weird shape, but it will improve. Ugh, it feels so weird. It feels so weird. And I gotta go to like this. Well, I don't have to, but I told her I'd be there. Uh. The Women of Wisdom, it's like some banquet we're having tonight at the, uh, it's like a Japanese, a Japanese, uh, steakhouse or something. I asked Dr. Perry, there's some soup or something I can get, something soft, because I'm not supposed to eat anything hard. It'll break the brackets or whatever. But, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I look weird with them on. But look at this big old goodie bag they gave me. It has, like, all this stuff in there. We're going to do a braces haul when we get home. Oh my goodness. It didn't hurt at all. Like, it wasn't even, it wasn't near as bad as what I thought it was going to be. The worst part was, a. Uh, it's like this yellow mold, and you got to bite on it so they can, like, mold your teeth or something like that. That one had my gag reflexes going, like, Ugh. But other than that, it was pretty much good. 
It was good. We have the actual actual getting the braces on was nowhere near as bad as like what you had to do beforehand. But my next appointment is January 16th. I'm coming in to get them tightened. Beautiful. All right. We're in business. Okay, so let's do a braces haul. I know that's weird, but you know what? I got a lot of stuff from my orthodontist office. He gave me like a full on bag of stuff. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so generous. I mean, look at this is a huge bag of stuff. We're gonna do a haul. So the first thing we have is insurance papers. This is always fun, right? None of you guys' business. I'm gonna put it over there on my junkie bed. They gave me a full on thing of mouthwash. This is the Colgate uh, Fosfler Ortho Defense. Basically they said it's like, it has like fluoride in it or something, it like helps the cavities, but it, you know, it's little pictures of braces on there like what I have. So yeah, that's, that's that. They gave me a full thing of mouthwash. I got this toothbrush. It's a um, a battery powered, uh, what you call it, an electric toothbrush. And let's see, I think I can, I'm not really sure. I don't think I can change the tip. Can I change the tip? I'm not sure. But I got a battery powered toothbrush. Yay, Merry Christmas. I got this little carrying, uh, carrying case. And inside that carrying case, I have a toothbrush. I have my little proxy brush that they told me about. I have my um, another little proxy brush. I got this thing. I got this thing. And these are two containers of wax. So what I think this is, this is like what I carry in my purse right here. Oh, goodness, that's a lot. I got, this is mouth sore rinse. So I guess like if it starts to get sore, I have a little rinse packet. Uh, floss threaders, so what this is, it's like it's a little tool and like the regular floss, you thread it through your braces and that's how you floss your teeth. It's, it's not that complicated, but yeah, I got I got some of that. Wow, they gave me some stuff. Ibuprofen, uh, Mexiproxen, and medicine, uh-huh, medicine. Thank you very kindly. Uh, I got some more, uh, some more floss, uh, floss for like braces, more floss. I got this little mirror and it has a little switch on it. What's the switch? I'm not really sure what the switch is for. Oh, when I put batteries in it, it has a little light so I can really like see. Oh, that's great, thank you. I got this thing and she said this is a teething ring for braces. So, you know what? Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. I need it, I'm gonna need it. This is disclosing tablets. So what you do is you like rinse your, well you put this tablet in your mouth, you like chew it up and then you spit it out and it'll let you see like what plaque is on your teeth. So yeah, I got some of that. I got the Colgate Optic White. She gave me a little thing of toothpaste and I thought I read somewhere, like don't use the whitening toothpaste because then you'll have spots, but she said it's no problem. So yeah, I got a little thing of toothpaste. Uh, this is probably, yeah, this is some more floss, a little thing of floss. This, what I'm about to take out right now is wax, 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 okay? This is all wax, wax, wax. So, for those of you who have braces, you probably know, if you don't, basically, um, if you have a problem, like if a wire gets loose or like something happens, you put the wax on it and it just sort of like covers it and, you know, so it won't like damage your mouth. So... My goal for the one year I'm gonna have these braces is one year, not six months. Uh, never have to use this wax, never. I'm not gonna have any problems with these braces, nothing. I have lip balm, thank you, kindly. And last but not least, I got a little thing of hand sanitizer. This was a really nice dental haul, y'all look at this. Look at this. This is so nice, it's just, they didn't just give me braces and send me off in the world. They, they made sure I was hip. I was good. And that's good, because I was about to run out and buy some, uh, buy like a water flosser for $40, $50, but they gave me like a little proxy brush that I needed. So that's great. One thing I did go out to get from uh, Five Below is I went and got this Colgate uh, toothpaste and I got this uh, little thing of Listerine, because I didn't know they were going to give me all that. Like, wait until I go show my dad. Oh, so. You remember yesterday when I was looking at my grades and stuff? Well, the final grades have been posted. 
And look at what I, oh. Thank God for the curve. Thank God for the curve. I'm just saying. Whew. I'm done. I got A's. Thank you, Lord. One more semester to go. One more. I just got two more classes. All right, let's see what my overall GPA is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's see, let's see if I'm going to get happy or sad. Really? My cumulative GPA is a 3.654. It went up from a 3.6 even to a 3.654. Are you kidding me? That's all it bumped up from. Dang it. I was hoping I could get like a 3.8 graduating, but oh well. I'll just settle with graduating with the high honors instead of the highest honors. I'll try again at the next school. This is what happens when you get too many B's and stuff and you start getting F's. Well, no, not F's. Yeah, because that wasn't a credit. What happened when you start getting too many B's? That one semester just messed me up. <sighs> Fine. Hey, so I'm back from my walk. I walked for a mile and a half. It was a good walk. It's not too freezing cold outside, so I was able to go out and do some exercise, but I'm back now. Um, the Women of Wisdom end of the year social is tonight at 6 o'clock, so I'm going to leave at 5.30. Um... I know where it's located, but I just want to make sure that I know where it's located. So I'm looking up, looking it up right now. And I have to uh, look at the menu and figure out what I'm ordering. Because it's like, uh, I want something soft. So she said they have like soup and noodles and stuff. So it's like, maybe, you know, I'll just stick with that. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, noodles. What if it like, no, never mind. But, um, so far I, uh. I haven't had any problems with them so far. It's just, you know, my lisp, <laughs> which they said it would go away in like a few days. I had to get used to them. And um, what else? Oh, yeah, I've been biting my lip like right down here a lot. So, uh, see, I just bit it again. I've been biting my lip. <sighs> so, I'll get the hang of it. I'll get used to it. But, yeah, let me look up this place. Make sure I'm headed in the right direction. Because I think I passed by it the other day, but I just want to be sure. Alright, so I'm not sure if you can see me, but I am almost to the, uh, to the place. It is 5.45, give or take. And it's so much traffic out here because everybody's going home from work. It's like, oh my gosh. Haven't come in contact with any poor drivers yet, but it's just like, what is going on? And I already know what I'm going to order off this menu. Soup and salad. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to keep it simple and cheap. Oh my goodness, the tree is so pretty. Yeah, I'm walking through Japan right now. This is so cool. It's Shanika. She can't see me. Yum. Beautiful. Did you catch it? Put her hand Awesome. <laughs> okay, so the women of wisdom uh dinner party is over. Oh my gosh, that food was so good. That soup was good. That salad was good. Those noodles were good with the vegetables. It was just good. It was just very weird eating it with my braces. I had to go into the bathroom afterwards because it was like noodles in my braces. And I was like, oh boy, this is going to be an, this is gonna be an adventure for the next year. <laughs> but actually, uh, the amount of food that's like in between my braces is nowhere near the amount that I thought was in between them so you know now I see why they say don't eat like caramels and really sticky candies because oh my gosh that was just you get the braces right off my teeth but it's like the nightlife is really just lit right now like look at all this it's just it feels like I shouldn't go home I should just you know walk around and you know look at the stores and see what they got I'm saying they have a uh, 1000 degrees Napoleon pizzeria 
all I see is pizza and that means I gotta try it out but maybe maybe another day I'm gonna get home some people gotta go to work tomorrow me Ooh, there you are some people gotta go to work tomorrow me so you know just head on head on home I am home and it is like 9.30. Oh, okay, so like I said earlier, I got work tomorrow. I was about to get in this bed, read a little bit, relax. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs this video up and I'll talk to y'all another day. I'm not sure if it will be this weekend, but I think it will be this weekend. Bye-bye.